Amelia. No, ma, I ain't busy. Honey, I sure am glad you're getting your vacation tomorrow. You look downright peaked. I guess it's the heat, Amelia. Honey, you ever hear anything from your friend Miss Corny since she left the stove? No. Uh, yes. She's still at home visiting her people. I'll go get you a Coca-Cola, honey. That'll make you feel better. Thanks, Amelia. Perhaps you can't see so well from there. Why don't you come inside and get a good look? Thank you. I was just waiting to be invited. Why stand on ceremony? Surely your position gives you these little uh, privileges? My privileges are seldom so delightful. Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought you could do exactly as you like around here. I hope to, but not here. What a relief to know that I'm actually safe for the moment. I shall go on changing now. That is, if, if you don't mind. Mind? I'm delighted. I'm so glad you're making yourself comfortable, so you won't miss anything. I never miss anything. When you grow up, little boy, you'll find out that men don't usually brag about things like that. Oh. So you think I'm acting rather young? That's your only excuse. Oh, now see here, Jerry. Perhaps I have been a bit rough about all this. But after all, when a girl doesn't even bother to put on a kimono in front of a man... And why should I? You're not man enough for me to even notice whether you're here or not. You're very clever in putting me in the wrong. You make it so easy. Oh, come on now. Let's not fight all the time. You needn't act as if I were really repulsive. If you only knew how deathly ill it makes me feel to have you touch me. Is that straight? That's straight. I beg your pardon. <laughs> 